Well, here it is. I often requested two colors on one cup. And this is not the ombre looking cup, but actually having the cup one color of powder and the logo another color. As you can see, we started by creating two logos that were identical and we're going to print those on two different types of material. The logo on the right is going to be on regular vinyl and that's going to mask where the logo will be when we put on the initial color. The logo on the right is transparency and that's what we'll use to cover the part of the cup that will be outlining the logo as we put on our second color. What we wanted to go after was sort of replicating the Monster Energy Drink can. The person that this cup is for is kind of known for always drinking Monster Energy Drink. One tip is to match your powders. So if you're using a flat black, then you want the corresponding color to also be a flat color. If you're using a semi-gloss then you could get away with using another semi-gloss for the second color or possibly even an anodized which tends to be semi glossy not as glossy as a candy coat now that the first coat is on we're gonna put it in the oven until we see the powder flow generally that comes around three minutes and then we're going to pull it and we're going to cool it down to where we can handle the cup and we're going to peel off the logo and once we've peeled off the logo we're going to put it back in the oven for about a 75 percent cure and that would be dependent on the type of powders that you're using so for some powders they cure in 10 minutes others 15 and this particular one is a 20 minute cure time. So we would only have that in the oven for about another 12 to 15 minutes. Now that the cup is cool to the touch and the first coat is pretty much cured, we're going to go ahead and put on some transparency film. And this is going to surround the logo. And we use the transparency film or transfer paper because I can see exactly what I'm covering and what I'm not covering. And the idea is to get that on as straight as possible. Now that we have the logo masked with the transparency or transfer film, we're going to cover the rest of the cup and mask it with blue tape. Some people just use the blue tape. I've been experimenting with the aluminum foil. Seems to be working pretty well. And then we're going to put it back in the oven until the green starts to flow. I found that somewhere between two and three minutes seems to be pretty good. And we remove the material that's masking it at that point. You don't have to worry about spreading any of that material onto the rest of the cup. It'll stay in place at this point. Although I didn't show it, I guess it's good to point out that we did allow the cup to cool again. At this point, when I'm handling the cup, obviously it's down around 100 degrees or lower. Now that the cup's fully cured, we're taking it out and you get to see the finished product. We used semi-gloss black and anodized green. And I think that gave a really nice effect. And the person who this is for hasn't seen it, but his brother has and he was really excited. I hope you find the tips in this video helpful. So when you attempt to do this yourself, you can get a good result as well. 
Thank you for watching and have a great day.